If you're not allergic to peanuts and also a vegan, or if you're also not a vegan and not allergic to peanuts, then you should try this. It's really good. Sorry, Chris. We're gonna start with the star of the show, which is the peanut butter. You can go with either smooth or crunchy. They both work. I've put in about three tablespoons here, followed by three tablespoons of light soy sauce, one tablespoon of dark soy sauce, and then you're gonna add a sweetener such as mirin, honey, or good old white sugar. About a tablespoon of either, I went for white sugar this time. I then added half a teaspoon of white miso paste. If you like a bit of heat, now's a good time to add some chili oil if you fancy it. You can then mix it all up. I've missed it out here, but it's essential that you add the juice of about one to two limes into this. Once it's combined like this, you can then set that to the side and move on to the rest. We're gonna make a quick dredge out of about 50 to 75 grams of corn flour, five grams of Chinese five spice, and five grams of salt. Mix to combine and then slice up your tofu. You're gonna to need some firm or extra firm tofu. I couldn't get my hands on it this time, but I would highly recommend smoked tofu. It's an absolute game changer with this recipe. Slice your tofu into strips that are roughly the same thickness. Mine are a little bit squiffy, but that's totally fine. Grab yourself an oven proof rack and a baking sheet and dredge your tofu by tossing them in the flour mix until each piece is just coated. Dust off any excess and repeat with the others. When you're done with your dredging, you'll see that some of your tofu has absorbed parts of the flour. That's totally fine. Don't worry about dredging it again. Now that everything is ready, get a pot of water and bring it up to the boil whilst you simultaneously heat up a wok or heavy frying pan like this stainless steel one. Once your pan or your wok is nice and hot, add enough sesame oil to shallow fry and then throw in your tofu. Add just enough to not overcrowd, making sure that each one is cooking evenly. Okay, so I made a little bit of a boo-boo on my first batch by taking them a little past golden brown, but what we're looking for is a light golden color and some tiger spots. These ones are a little too close to burnt for my liking. However, on the second batch, I controlled the heat a little bit better and ended up with that gorgeous light golden color we're looking for. Yeah, boy. Once your tofu is all cooked, keep them in the oven at a warm idle temperature while you sort the rest out. Now in that boiling water, you can now toss in your chosen noodles. I just went for some pad thai rice noodles. In the leftover oil from the frying, you can throw in your vegetables. I just went for some sugar snap peas, but munch too, spring onions and loads of other vegetables work in this as well. Give it a light sear and transfer to a bowl. As soon as they come out, your sauce paste goes in, followed by some hot water or even better, some of the water from the noodles. Mine was a little bit thick due to the lack of lime juice, but you can keep thinning it out until it's reached the thickness that you'd like, just by adding small amounts of liquid. It's a pretty quick turnaround because up next, your noodles go in and so do your vegetables. Now you don't have to yet, but I also added my tofu because I love it in the mix. If you want to maintain maximum crispiness of your tofu, just put it on top of your noodles and spoon over some sauce if you like. That's it though. Grab yourself a bowl or a plate and dish out this savory, silky beauty of a dish. I've added some chili oil, sesame seeds and a lime wedge, and it's ready to eat. Let's try this. I don't have chopsticks. So about the whole frying pan thing, let's just not worry about that. I don't have my wok here and I'm not gonna explain where it is. All you need to know is it's not here right now, so I'm using a frying pan, okay? Leave me alone, Uncle Roger. Anyway, let's try these noodles. Squeeze the lime. Oh, she's juicy. So good. It's rich, it's creamy, it's got such nice savouriness to it. That line just really cuts through all that richness. Adding chilli oil to it, I think it goes so, so well for a little bit of extra spice. One thing I would add to this, which I didn't have at the time, is a little bit of spring onions on top. Add some real nice freshness to it as well, which would be perfect. I think it's brilliant for how quick and easy it is. Definitely a weeknight meal to remember. Give it a try and let me know in the comments if you have. Otherwise, see you next time.